Hi, in this video I'll show you how to easily replace a web browser ActiveX control with a .NET web browser control. The ActiveX controls need to be replaced because ActiveX controls are not supported in the Windows Forms framework and this is Magic XPA's underlying framework. Now here we have a project in 1.9 and this project uses an ActiveX control. When we run the project we can see that the control opens the Magic Software website. Here we have the same project that we upgraded to 3.1 and we need to replace the ActiveX control with a .NET control. So the first thing we need to do to use .NET controls is to add a reference to a .NET assembly. So let's go ahead and select your .NET and what we're looking for is system.windows.forms. You might see several versions of this assembly and I'll choose the version 4.0. Now let's go back to our browser program. We'll rename it to browser with .NET and in the data view editor we'll add a new .NET virtual variable and let's name it browser.NET. In the object type property, we're going to enter system.windows.form, which is the assembly that we loaded earlier, and we're going to type in here web browser. Now we want to see where the ActiveX variable is being used, so we'll run the find reference utility by pressing Control and F, and you'll see here that it's used in two places. We'll click on the first one and you'll see here in the invoke com object dialog box you'll see that the method is navigate. Now we'll zoom here from the arguments and you'll see that the first argument is the URL variable. Now we'll go ahead and replace this behavior with a .NET equivalent. So delete the invoke com line and we'll add an evaluate expression and we'll create a new expression. Select the .NET variable and then type dot navigate and select the URL variable and close it with the parentheses. Now we'll click the validate button and since there's no error icon to the left of the expression, then we know that the expression is fine. So we'll click select. And in the find reference results, we'll click on the second entry. And we'll check if the ActiveX control has any property defined, such as a visible condition, which it doesn't. There's nothing defined here. And in the placement, we'll see that there's a hundred and a hundred over here. So we want to remember that. We'll delete the ActiveX control and now we'll drag the browser.net variable onto the form and we'll stretch it to fit the screen. And we'll just go ahead and set the placement so that it's the same as with the ActiveX, 100 and 100. And we'll go back to the data view editor and we'll run the find reference again just to make sure that we've got everything and we see that there's no result. So we can go ahead and delete the active X variable. We'll run the checker F8 and we see that everything is fine here. So now the, we'll run the program and you'll see the magic software website running exactly the same way it did in 1.9. So that's it. Thanks and join us again soon for some more magic.